Hello, it's 3.20 p.m. So I just went and got me some shoes. And um, I went to go get me some shoes. And I got two pairs rather than one. But both of them, what, like one pair was $44.98 plus tax. And another one was, um, I got a ten dollar discount because the shoes they were really I really like the shoes and they um they didn't have a price tag but it took them about 15 10 or 15 minutes for them to find the, the price of how much the other shoes cost and so I got those and those were um, 54.99 with the discount so now it I mean it's like I, I said that my um internet here at this hotel during the daytime it acts spotty and it acts funny. So it might be a long time and, and it's un unreliable and unstable during the day, but then at nighttime it's after eleven o'clock it's perfect. But then at the same time, if I'm not uploading any videos, the internet runs smoothly. But it wasn't like that in the other room where I was at. Um, it was slower during the day, but it. Well, I mean, this on this side is way worse than the, on the other side. But um. Like, I'm going to show y'all the shoes I have. This is one pair of shoes, the walking shoes that I'll be use, using for walking right here. Rika. I'm using these for walking, you know, because I'm planning on, I guess I'll have to walk three hours a day each round trip was six hours a day i don't know if i can do it but i have to practice and train myself to do it and here's the other pair like i know the narcissistic perps are gonna say something about my shoes um with the stimulus check this is my stimulus check so the perps who just want to leave Sit, leave me to sit here and suffer and rot. They're the main ones who are commenting on my every move. And it makes me feel highly uncomfortable. And it induces stress and causes me more anxiety. So, I mean, the Riker shoes were the $44.99 or $44.98. And then I got these shoes right here. That was $55 plus tax, $59. So, I mean, I, I had a, I started to get frustrated because I couldn't really find what shoes I really liked and what I really wanted. But I really like these, though, these Nike shoes. But the Nike shoes, I need them for comfort and all that walking. I mean, I don't even know if I'll get to, you know, I... Hopefully get to lose some weight, but I'll be smelling funky with no place to get to take a bath. So, it's like the narcissistic perks, they act like, as, I mean, they act like they think they have the authority and the right to comment on my every move. And like I owe them an explanation for everything. And it's like they're causing me mental anguish. And, and that's like, I'm sitting here feeling anxiety and fear the whole time when I'm trying to shop for shoes, feeling scared that, you know, that the perps would, you know, act like they think they have the authority to inflict punishment on me for buying shoes with my um, stimulus check. You, you know, so I also bought me another thing of pepper spray. I bought me a five dollar rain poncho and I bought some more, like three more of these. So how is that stuff that's not necessary or it's not important? So 
you know, they keep making their comments that make me feel really ashamed. Even adults get affected by bullying online or in person as well. Yes, adults get their feelings hurt by bullying. So then they act like they think they have the authority to question, well, why does Candy? I mean, I have not asked for, I have not needed to, and I have not asked for money in a little while. You know, hold on right quick. But the same people who want to act like, oh, Candy's a freeloader, she's this and that. Y'all saw what they did with my job that I tried to get, right? But they y'all keep saying I'm a freeloader and beg too much and complain so much. But then at the same time, y'all set me up and lied on me and got me, you know, got, got me, you know, y'all got me wrongfully fired from my job that I tried to do on my own. I've been trying to fight for work or try to fight for a job. It's very hard for the system makes it difficult for a homeless person to get back steady and on their feet and stable. And then they put on the false stereotype that all homeless people are mentally ill, crazy, lazy and don't want to work on drugs and everything like that. So they had the perks make the false smear campaign that that I just want to take advantage of people and that I just want everybody to take care of me and that I'm scamming people, which is not true. So I have a right to defend myself. So the perps want to aggressively demand the answer for why, question yourself, why the hell somebody, they get Social Security and SSI benefits, but why they don't get food stamps. Something's wrong with that. Well, okay, well, what you mean something's wrong with it? Y'all know what's going on. At the waterfront mission, the perps play with my mail. So, that's why I don't even bother getting mail anymore. So, you know, it's a constant battle trying to fight to ignore. And they keep me in fear and anxiety and make, excuse me, make me feel threatened constantly and stuff like that. They need to get out of my business. Leave me alone. And they're a whole bunch of witches. They do witchcraft and voodoo and they're gang stalkers. But they act like they think they're God judging and controlling and condemning me. I don't have the freedom or the right. I mean, they're making it like I don't even like they're going to judge and have something to say on what I spent my money, my stimulus check on. They have a comment for everything. And I bet you that um, the targeted individuals that get V2K, I heard that the V2K constantly co comments on what they do as well. But I don't get the V2K. These are all online perps making comments about everything I do or say. And they're trying to deliberately and on purpose act like they think they have the power and authority to run me off the Internet. Just, I mean, I know the Bible talks about, you know, trying to strive to live peaceably unto all men and let not man have anything bad to say. I mean, I don't remember the exact scripture book or quote, but, you know, not let have, you know, anybody, you know, any to say, have anything evil thing to say of you, you know. So let me show y'all my, my other, um, shoot because see those Reeboks I couldn't wear those see this is the um other part of these shoes you know the Reeboks I couldn't wear because with the Reeboks they're basketball shoes and they're not fit for walking but and like in October I got those Reebok shoes because um I was trying to find and, and, and I was trying to find what shoes I can get that will cover my ankles because over the last winter, not this winter, but the week, winter before, I had to deal with um my ankles being, my ankles and feet being too cold. So those Reeboks, I'm going to save them for next winter and wear them. I don't even know where I'll be next winter. Hopefully I'll be housed. If not, then I don't know what's going to go on next winter. But right about now, I'm hungry again. Like, I, I ate the salad, the garden salad and the um oatmeal back to back. And I'm hungry enough that I don't even care. I'm going to give in to eat um the three slices, not two, but three slices of pizza and the um, lava cake. That's how hungry I am. 
And then tomorrow I'll just have two slices of pizza for breakfast. And then got to check out. But it's like, I said that the gang, narcissistic gang stalkers think we're so worthless that they feel like um, a 10-year-old can of Vienna sausages is too luxury for us. You know, you, they want to comment on my weight. They can call me ugly and fat and everything, but then, you, you know, calling me names like Fat Albert and ugly and talking about how I'm eating deliciously and illegally and stuff like that. And and then they, um, but then they always make remarks trying to say, oh, Candy, all she does is cussing. She cusses in her a lot in her videos. I'm like, well, what's the difference between me cussing a lot and you throwing up devil horns, hand signs like this in, in people's comments? So you throw signs like this or like this, but then you're sitting there talking about me cursing. You know, y'all got me all frustrated and everything. So it's like, I don't owe the, the, especially some people have grown up, people say that if a person ain't doing, if they're not doing anything for you, then some people say, well, don't worry about what they say. If they, especially if they, if they don't pay your bills or if they're not doing anything for you, then don't worry about what they got, what they got to say. But you know what? It's so hard because look what, I mean, how am I supposed to ignore what happened this past Sunday? How am I supposed to ignore the they use the police to frighten and ban me. And I'm still trying to, I still can't get that through my head. Like, why did that happen? If targeted individuals talk about workplace mobbing all the time. And the on, the same online perps who want to talk about, oh, she's lazy and she's always laying in bed in the hotel room. Or she expects people to pamper her. Or she expects a fancy lifestyle. I'm not trying to expect a fancy lifestyle. As I said, I'm, um... You know, I was just trying to stay safe from bad weather. And guess what? Next week, it's supposed to rain every all day, every day, next week. So, it's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do because, well, I, um, even though I bought these shoes, but I needed to buy these shoes because I've been having problems with my feet hurting. And stuff, and then a lady offered to buy my shoe, buy me some shoes, and I said no, thank you. Since I got my um, you know, I felt like I didn't want to be a burden to her, you know, even though she offered, it was nice that she offered to buy me a pair of shoes, and I said well, politely said no, thank you. Since I just got my stimulus check, you know, and, and then another person came on her channel and commented something mean, and then you know try to talk about ask yourself this why why um she doesn't why she get SSI check and she don't even get food stamps and stuff like that. Oh she's just trying to they try to make the false smear campaign that I'm just a greedy person to who um just want expect people to pay for my lavish eating and stuff like that. And that's not what I'm trying to do. I've been trying to get jobs here, trying to get jobs there. Temp service, whatever even right after I applied for the, um, and I got hired for that Sky Zone job, what happened was a lot of other Indeed applications had turned me down. Some people say, don't give up and keep trying to look for another job. But it, I was made to feel like as if I don't have a right to be employed. Like, I don't have a right to make a, my own living. Like, I don't. You know, and they don't, have, they, they are not God. They do not have rulership or authority over me. So, but them being jealous bullies like that, you know, people like Shits Yacht 10K, who falsely calls herself Stars 15K, she sat there and tried to say, yo, last year she's like, yeah, why don't you get a job? But then this same bitch sat there and freaking um called up, I know it was nobody but her. She called up my job. She sunk, stalked, and found, and I don't even know how they found my Twitter, but I didn't even mention in my YouTube videos, I did not mention stuck Sky Zone or anything like that, but they acted like as if they were plotting together to try to figure out where I worked, and then look what they did. So, they got some witchcraft involved in their success. 
with getting take getting me taken down. And I hate when it feels like it seems like as if the devil is winning or like the devil has the upper hand. You know, and one person recently got on my twin sister and, and you know, she she acted like she couldn't handle you know, one person defending me and she tried to call me Satan and all kinds of demons and stuff like that. When she's th been throwing up the Illuminati hand signs that I just showed y'all, you know, I don't go around throwing up those hand signs, but I just show y'all for example, what hand signs they use and stuff like that, you know, so y'all can see the kind of hand signs, you know, they have some more other hand signs that I can't think of that's Masonic and Satanic, but let me get off here and, um, Whenever this uploads, it uploads. So thanks for listening to me. I'm just trying to better myself. I love y'all and bye.